Greetings everyone, my name is Etterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Quinn's Revenge. In the last part, I defeated the Robot Masters who were derived from Eggman Tree, and so it's time to go to Wily Fortress. Now, in between the last part and this, I updated the game to version 29. One of the most obvious uh, differences you, you may hear now is the fact that the game's soundtrack has been replaced uh, with, with the works of the talented Joseph Collins. And for the most part, the music sounds overall better. Though there, there are two exceptions in which I, which I like the original tracks better. But you, I believe you can replace them as well as the boss music. So now, we're in Wily Fortress, and technically this was never in the original Mega Man or Rock War, Rockman World 2 of the Game Boy. We would have the first four Robot Masters from Mega Man 2, then from Mega Man 3. Uh, well, you have Mega Man 2, then we'd go to a very easy segment of the Wily Fortress, then we'd have Mega Man 3, then uh, a boss fight against Quint, and then basically the final stage. Just one official Wily stage, to be fair. Now, but now we actually have an official Y stage, just like the all the other Mega Man classic titles on the NES. Anyways, I, I showed off the, uh, the spinning top. Basically, the, how the spinning top works, why I consider it to be worse than top spin in most scenarios, is that you fire some rather powerful tops, which slowly bounce up and down. The more they move forward, uh, the, and the more they hit the ground, eventually they'll spring up into higher positions, so they'll be able to hit higher targets. However, do, they do not pierce shields, and so if they hit a tar something that can't they hit an enemy, like a shielded enemy, they'll basically get destroyed and won't cause any damage. And because you can only fire a tree at once and it prevents you from switching to another weapon, it's quite a pain to use unless you're good at accuracy. But yeah, that was Wily Stage 1. Here's the boss for Wily Stage 1. And I would say that all the bosses for the for the wise stages in this game are very unique, minus the last one. As these more present in the original game. Here's the Aqua Devil. First, it, the first part of this is where he, he creates this stream of bubbles to try to force you to hit the spikes at the top, which are of course instant dead. Afterwards, he'll reappear, open his eye, and he'll fire these bubble bombs. Which, which explode into mist, so make sure to avoid it. And after a while, he'll close his eyes and uh, split up into those uh, water orbs. So, and, and you can pass through them in a certain arc. I believe his weakness is the hard knuckle. So, if you're good at aim, aiming at it, you can easily c take care of this boss, especially if you just shotgun him. But yeah, not too much of an issue, especially considering that you, you have a much higher uh, jump height, so it's not impossible to hit him sometimes, and he doesn't have invincibility frames. Alright, now on to Wily Stage 2. Whereas Wily Stage 1 of this game is kind of reminiscent of Mega Man 2's Wily Stage 1, though minus the Mecha Dragon fight at the end, this one is... it's a little bit different. It kind of more reminds me of Super Danny powered up uh, one of the final Wally stages. Here we have all these hoppers, and we're going on all these oh, ice platforms while trying to jump over those precarious pace uh, pits. Another reason why I love the Needle Crusher, especially in this location, and learn to use the duck function, uh, duck function here, and make sure you also learn how to use those magnet beams. Or those magnet uh, obstacles, so you don't fall into this uh, into the abyss or get hit by those spikes. Yeah, I decided to just eat the hit there. I could have just used the metal casher or the crash blaster to make it through faster. And yeah, one minute stage. Here's the boss, just giant walrus. Basically, his weak point is the his tusks. Now he fires all, all these uh, saw blade icicles at your current position. And after a while, he'll he'll fire basically that uh, ice wave. When it hits the ground, it'll split into two ice waves. So make sure to lure that out of the screen. And there, I decided to show a funny glitch where, uh, as you kill him, if you if you jump into him, you'll die. But he'll die as well, and you'll pass on to the next stage. Normally, what would happen in the other Mega Man game, most other Mega Man titles, is that if you did that, you'd be forced to restart the stage and refight the boss. 
And here it's a funny exemption. <laughs> it, it, this uh, bug was also in uh, update 27. Oh well, this may be fixed, but still hilarious to see. Alright, we moved from uh, Mega Man 2 Wally Stage 1 music to now to Mega Man 3 Wally Stage 2 music. It's kind of reminiscent of one of the final stages in Mega Man 3, that is. Lots of weapon energy pickups and some E-Tanks. Though, I'm, I'm fully stocked with E-Tanks. I'll definitely need those four E-Tanks for the final stage. As compared to the rest of this game, which is very easy, or not very easy, but rather easy in terms of Mega Man standards, I'd say around Mega Man 6 or somewhat simpler. Though that may be because I'm a veteran of this game, or Mega Man series. And now, this stage is basically a kind of a mix of the uh, original gimmicks that we had from previous stages. Like here's a harder version of Needleman's gimmick, and we'll be finding, finding all the mini-bosses soon enough. And yeah, I, I got shot over the wall. And here's a funny reference to a Mega Man 2, an, an infamous Mega Man 2 boss. Just want to restock on all this. Here are the Boo Beam traps for Mega Man 2. Normally you'd use the crash, uh, the crash bombs to get past it and destroy each of the walls, and you'd have a limited amount. But because I have the crash blaster, it just makes it into, turns it into a joke boss, considering I can destroy all of them at once. So yeah, I believe that Ace Spark included that as a joke boss. Here we have a segment reminiscent of the one in the, tu in the tutorial stage. We have to run away from a, uh, a series of spikes, but now we have a much harder version combined with uh, bomb, the crash man's gimmick, and a few other things. Now we're facing off against the series of World Masters. I just wanted to take care of this hot dog a little bit faster. Here's the conveyor belt Metor, or whatever it's called, or the, um, the minor for foreman. I forget the name of that second met like enemy. Not too difficult either. To be fair though, this is the part where I t try to spam all my weapon energy. Oh, and this one becomes even uh, maybe more hilarious to take care of, especially with the Needle Crusher, considering how much I can spam this. And I met, and I don't really show off his moves either. Two Crash Blasters, and he's gone. And the boss is coming up rather soon. The weak point is this boss is the gl glowing orange thing at the bottom. Basically, after a while, about two or three seconds, he'll fire this these series of five shots, and then he'll try. After doing it, he'll try moving, uh, hovering above you, slam into the ground, make sure to duck out of the way. It does, it does a ton of damage, and then release all the uh, two missiles. So make sure to move him out of the way. But especially when he's in the ground, he's very vulnerable to being spammed by all those attacks. So yeah, very simple boss. This main weakness, or Achilles' heel, Achilles' heel. It was basically his lack of invulnerability frames. Now, as I was saying earlier, this game is ra rather simple, to be fair. Not simple, easy. It may be even a little bit easier than Mega Man 6, though it may be because I'm a veteran. As, due to the shorter stage length, as demonstrated by these Wally stages, very, very rapid p pace, uh, and, the, and the gimmicks not being not too bad, this is rather an easy foray in terms of fan games. I've done a much tougher ones as well. Mega Man Limited, uh, Mega Man Rock Force, etc. etc. Here's the boss rematch stage. Ma Metal Man is weak against the Crash Blaster, takes him out in four hits. All the boss weaknesses are the same from the, the original Rock Man World 2 on the Game Boy. Needle Man is weak against the Spinning Top, as well as the Air Spinner. Uh, Whatever the air, whatever airman's weapon was called again, I never used used it much, so I, for, I keep forgetting the name. And now we have Woodman, who is obviously weak against the met, the metal blades, or metal catcher. My apologies, which would basically saw him to pieces, especially as he can uh, eventually go to his shields. And we have Airman, who, even though his weakness is the Leaf Shield, I actually find it easier to just use the Mega Buster, uh, the Quint Buster, to take care of him, as it's much faster and it doesn't take up as much as weapon energy. But I just wanted to show uh, show off his weakness here. 
Here's Crash Man. His weakness is the air sh the one weapon I forgot the name of. Just basically go in close range and shotgun a shotgun him to his demise. Overall though, especially with the weaknesses, the Robot Master is even more of a pushover. Also, Needleman's invincibility glitch, where he didn't actually have any invincibility frames, has been fixed. So that's nice. But as I was saying, because of how the how pattern very pattern based all the bosses or all the bosses except for one are, and the stage gimmicks and relative ease and shorter length, this game is rather easy to go through. Well, minus the last stage, which I'll get to in the next part. That that's gonna kind of quite a shift. So this feels quite a a nice uh, ROM to compared to the previous Mega Man LP I was doing, which was Rock Force. It's, not, it's a nice breeze. It's not really a major complaint against this game. It just feels a bit different from most Mega Man titles. However, this may actually be intentional, because Mega Man 2 or Rock Man World 2 on the Game Boy, it was a rather simple game to go through. In fact, I dare say it was one of the easiest Mega Man uh, t classic titles overall. So, if this is the case, this title reflects that accurately. So, so I don't really blame the creator of that. After all, it, it is accurate. Anyway, it's time to go to the final stage of this Wadi Fortress. Alright, and here we can refill on whatever weapon energies we need. Although I don't really find it useful. For the next boss, you have the Crash Blaster and Spinning Top ready. Or the Magnet Missile. I don't recall the exact weaknesses of this boss, I'd say it's rather easy to take care of these Buster only. First we, ha we have this giant skeleton, which in the first part, in the first phase, it fires all the a series of two bo tree bombs. And then afterwards he'll fire missiles, which uh, loop from one part of the screen to the other. So basically, if you see it going on the low part of, uh, off screen, it'll come back on the low part of the other part of the screen. So be be on your guard there. His weak point is the lower part of his jaw, and because it doesn't have visibility frames, you can quickly shotgun it if you can accurately aim it, because it keeps arcing up and down. And and the mount itself is uh, is dangerous to your health. Here's Wily. The next weak point is its forehead. It basically has this guide or Anchor it fires after a while. It does a ton of damage, so uh, after about three or four seconds, make sure to jump over it and get past it. And and while they will also fire those arcing orbs uh, towards your current position, that spin around like in the original Wily fight in and Mega Man 2. But that was that. So all right, in the next part, I'll be concluding the game by going to the Wily Space Fortress, as the map shows right here. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Doodles!